Today in Epic Airsoft, we're reviewing the G&G TopTech M4A1 Lite. So the first episode, we're going to talk about my M4. Uh, it's a G&G TopTech M4A1 Lite. Uh, typical G&G, full metal. Uh, everything is really, really high quality compared to the uh, GR16 range. All the metals are completely different. And as you can see, I've added my own stuff on there. Uh, pretty much black Magpul all over. Uh, I'll start with the front of the gun. We get the Noveski fire pig. Um, makes the gun a little bit louder and the rapport of the, the BB coming through the barrel. Uh, and the front here as well, I've got the MOE handguard. Uh, this house is my lipo battery. Uh, I really don't like using NIMS anymore. They're so unreliable. Uh, this one will keep me going for a whole weekend's play. It's much, much better than any other battery you can use. Uh, I've added here as well the new EMAG. As you can see, it's got the full rounds in here, a little glass window. Uh, There's a 120 round magazine, uh, plenty of BBs for shooting the enemy with. Also comes with this fancy little thing here that I'm not really fussed about, so we'll just drop that. Um, you'll be wondering what this is. This is to say that my gun has been chronoed for a site that I play at called Ardea, CQB, so they don't like having your guns too high in velocity. Uh, they have to be under 328. This gun shoots a nice steady 312 consistently all the time. Uh, I've also added the Trigger guard here from the Miad set, Miad grip, uh, really, really comfortable, and I uh, use the ACOG sight. Um, it's not the rubbish, you know, red dot version. This is the proper optics, uh, expensive job. Um, on the back, uh, we have the ASAP sling plate. This helps you rotate the gun round from left to right shoulder really easy. If I had the sling on, I could demonstrate that, but without it, it's probably going to drop. Uh, and on the rear here, we have the CTR. Magpul stock, nice sliding stock, really really comfortable compared to the normal M4 one that you get with this gun. Um, and that's pretty much it, I've not done any internal work, there's no point this gun shoots so nice. Uh, and we'll just take it out of there to demonstrate that. So this here in front of me is a gun jig. This is going to hold the gun much steadier than I can hold it, and it's going to give us a much better benchmark test down the 30 meter range. See, most of the grouping is in this circle, but as you can see, quite a lot of the BBs went really straight at the target. Now, seeing as the shots were so varied with the .2s, I'm going to go ahead and try some .28s. Let's So here's one we shot earlier. What we're looking for is a gripping. Not looking for the bullseye, but the closer the BBs are, the better. On a 30 meter range to here, this gripping is pretty solid. This is what we're using as a measuring tool. These are electronic calipers. Now that's about 80 millimeters by 60 millimeter gripping. Very, very tight. So here's the reason why we use different weight BBs. This is the 0.2 gram BB target. As you can see, the spread is huge. I mean, at 30 meters, that's no use to you. But here you see the 0.28, much heavier BB, much nicer gripping. This is gonna set you back about 380 pounds just for a standard M4. But let me assure you, this performs 100 times better than any other Chinese made gun. The fact that it's made in Taiwan, the materials are much better. Even the flash hider that came with it is a much higher quality than what you'd expect to get from any other Chinese manufacturer. The other thing with this, the hob rubber that comes with the gun is much softer than your average. So you get a nice lift and I can hit 0.28 BBs out to about 60 meters and that is a lot of range for a bog standard gun. 